So, an onion. We don't need the roots. We don't need that part. And you let that hang out for a second. And let's get a hot water bath going. And what it is for is to begin to break down some of the proteins that are holding the DNA inside the nucleus. So it's very important that we watch the temperature because if we get it too hot, it will actually start to mess with the DNA and that's not what we want. So the DNA is in the cells, but plants, like onions, have cell walls. So what we need to do is break the cell walls. So we need a solution that'll do that. All you need is a little soap, about 10 milliliters, somewhere in that neighborhood, of dishwashing soap. Add about half a cup of water. Doesn't have to be exact. Add a dash of salt. Now what this solution does is it breaks down the cell walls, or at least it helps to break down the cell walls, and the salt encourages the DNA to dissolve in water. What next? All right, so let's put the onions in the soapy salt water. What you're going to want to do is heat this for about 10 minutes. What you don't want to do is heat it too long, because if you heat it too long, the DNA itself starts to break down. So what we want to do is just break down the cell walls and unfold the proteins that are holding the DNA inside, so that they let go and the DNA goes into solution. So in another five minutes, I'm going to take this out of the hot water, and I'm going to cool it down in an ice water bath for about five minutes. This doesn't have any ice in it, but I just pulled it out of the freezer and it's really cold. So this is going to be the ice bath. Cooling it back down. Then we're going to filter it. And I need a tall glass to filter it in. Something tall. Tall glass. is soapy salt water with DNA in it. So the question is, how do you get the DNA out of the water? You need to find something that DNA does not dissolve in. Isopropyl alcohol. This is definitely not the kind you drink. So, I'm just going to gently pour it down the side of the glass. Oh, that is cool. You see all that stuff falling out? All that stringy looking stuff. That's DNA. That's all the instructions to make a brand new onion.